Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I know it's been a couple days before I've released some content, uh, or since I've released some content, and I've been getting a couple videos compiled, uh, ready to basically start pumping them out. So I'm going to go ahead and start creating some boss guides for pretty much everything from Act 5 uh, to Act 7, I think is the acts that we currently have. Uh, just to give you guys a little showcase, if I were to, for example, go over to my dashboard and pull up the video manager, you'll see that I've currently got um, Arakali, Groos, Dread Thicket, uh, fucking Shithead Carrion, Brian King, Aberath, uh, the Brutus plus Shav fight, Tukahama, Kitava, Avarius, uh, and then I uploaded this playthrough, which I, I don't really think people enjoyed too much of when I just put like the whole VOD there. So instead, what I'm going to go ahead and do is basically, these VODs are from day one in the beta. And since they're from day one, this is literally like, you know, I didn't know anything about the fight. Uh, so here you guys go. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually jump in on my main character and kind of explain all the mechanics of the fight. So you guys can kind of see what it's like your first time going in if you don't really know what's going on. And then you can see me fighting it basically like, you know, explaining the fight. So I think it'll be kind of cool, and that doesn't really require much editing. I basically will go on my main character, explain the fight, and then play this video after. Um, so on a side note, I do want to state that if you guys like kind of seeing the stuff that's going on outside of my life, or you know, it's like the the kind of like the AMA stuff. If you guys are familiar with this guy Gamer for Life, um, I believe he did the double interview style with Ziggy and Ziz. He also did one with myself with Empyrean Gaming, if you guys are familiar with him. He's another dude with dreads. If I were to just skip here, you can, you can see here. So if you guys are curious, you can go check him out. Uh, he produces a lot of really fun content, so definitely go ahead and check that out. It's a fucking hilarious video, by the way, I promise. Especially if you get to the end, there's a little, there's a little spoiler there. Um, but yeah, so I want to show you guys also what's been going on with my characters. So um, I guess since playing the beta for now, the past couple days, I have some things I really like about it, and I have some things I really don't like about it. So first off, because I know people are going to ask me, Pox, is it worth paying in the beta? Just like any other game, I'm going to tell you, of course. If you want to go ahead and jump into the new content, if you want to test out all the new quality of life features, definitely jump in the beta. But please understand that there really is not much content in the beta, and that's kind of the one thing I dislike. Now let me elaborate on that a bit more before people just start hounding me. The main gripe I have with the game is in betas, you know, you're here to test some stuff, right? Like, we're all here to test. I understand I'm not here to hit level 100 and, and get my build ready for 3.0. I'm here to legitimately test things, and that's what I've been doing. The problem is, is when you want to try out some of the new skills or even some of the new characters, like, you know, Scion was completely reworked. Well, not reworked, but, like, they basically buffed a shit ton of stuff in Scion, right? The thing is, is that we can only do our normal lab and our cruel lab in the current beta and I believe a week a week and a half two weeks something like that they should be doing a reset we get act 8 and I believe Merc lab comes with that and with the introduction of Merc lab we should be able to do uber lab as well because uber lab trials are in the game we just can't do it because we haven't done Merc lab so since builds can literally only get two labyrinth like four sanity points right now a lot of builds like my scorching ray character for example are just kind of fucked and it's kind of it's kind of depressing a little bit because it's like, man, you know, I wanted to test out the new Mind Over Matter. I wanted to really get a feel of it. And my build, for example, kind of needs Pious Path, which gives me like the 6% max mana, uh, energy shield regen per second, the cast speed cannot be affected by ailments. But I also need a couple of other things. And like, for example, if you were to play a Scion down here, you can literally only get one class. You can't even split between two because you need at least Merc Lab for that. Uh, so that was a little bit disappointing. Um... But again, overall with the, the game itself, I'm fucking so happy. I cannot wait um, for the actual 3.0. I'm super excited for even just the next patch that's coming out with Act 8. Um, I am pushing away from the CI meta. I did a lot of CI for the past like two leagues, if you guys are familiar. I still don't really like life by itself, but I do really like Mind Over Matter because Mind Over Matter kind of favors casters. And guess what? I play casters. So that's fucking awesome. Uh, the new Mind Over Matter chess piece as well, the Cloak of Defiance, is absolutely retarded. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys here, for you guys to see. So, here is the new Cloak of Defiance. It's literally so broken that um, they had to disable what it looked like on PoE Trade because people were just nutting themselves because of how OP it is. So, here's an example. 240 flat mana, 1% mana regen per second, 20% of damage is taken from mana before life with mind over matter. 
So you have 50% mana conversion, which applies through Chaos Damage, Chaos Degen, Puncture, Ignite, literally everything. Um, so this is an insane bonus uh, that I'm super excited for. And I like that it's kind of evasion based as well because you can kind of you can kind of do a little bit of... I don't like evasion as my main defensive thing, but I like it as a secondary, like a substitute. You know, like running Grace, getting Aura Effect, uh, maybe hitting like 10k, 12k evasion. Uh, that way I don't have to use like a Jade Flask and I can still use like mitigation on my flask themselves. So I really do like that. Um, I think that's a lot of fun. So I also really like the uh, Mind Over Matter meta. Did you guys as well? Because I thought it was fucking awesome. Because it's very easy to gear into. There's not like a demanding gear requirement. Like of course Cloak of Defiance is best in slot. But you don't need Cloak of Defiance to play the build. Maybe you'd be like, I want Cloak of Defiance before I hit red maps. But 30% Mind Over Matter conversion is good enough for me to, you know, run through whites and yellows, for example. And you could always, like, temporarily use, like, a Belly of the Beast. Um, or even just a high, like, 140 life, uh, like, armor chest piece or evasion chest piece, for example. So that's kind of like the update that's, uh, updates that have been going on. Uh, furthermore, I am testing a new character that I'll be playing in the beta. And it's going to be with Glacial Cascade. So for those of you guys who are unaware... Glacial Cascade got a complete rework, basically, where they now have it so it deals full physical damage, and 60% of it is converted over to cold damage, which means that if you were to hypothetically grab the nodes here, Winter Spirit, let me see if I can display this for you guys properly. How do I do this? Display capture. Actually, I can't at the moment because I have to like delete something, but Winter Spirit, Excuse me, Winter Spirit and the weapon cold damage here give you, I can just show you on the tree, 40% converted damage over, which is pretty nice. I really like that. Um, you can also use like Rim Sorrow if you want, but I thought this was pretty cool. And the reason why I played this as a Scion is because I'm able to basically bounce into the Ranger. And Ranger actually has some pretty good things like Life and Evasion, Evasion Scales, Mind Over Matter, well, it scales Cloak of Defiance. Um, Primal Spirit gives Mana, Flasks, Strength and Intel. Heart of the Oak gives life regen, a little bit of stun immunity or prevention. Uh, Druidic Rite is, is mana and flash charges gain, flask effect duration. Super good, because now we're scaling mana, so this is actually insane. And then we've got like uh, flash freeze, which I don't really need. The conversion, not the conversion, sorry, yeah, the, uh, the uh, fizz to cold. And then you've got like herbalism for life flasks. And then you can grab like a frenzy charge and a jewel socket. Um, and this is playing it as a elementalist with a uh, elementalist with raider so raider gives me onslaught on full frenzy charges along with frenzy charge on hit on rare slash unique mobs which is great because frenzy charges give attack speed cast speed and movement speed um and the raider node itself gives 10 percent movement speed and elementalist is really cool because we get six percent elemental penetration which is perfect because it's a pure conversion spell but mainly we get 50 percent reduced elemental reflect and we can have one additional golem out so I could have like a lightning golem for attack speed, cast speed, uh, which, you know, basically buffs my clear speed because, you, you know, if you're using a mobility skill, it scales off your movement speed, attack speed, and cast speed, depending on what you're using. Um, and then mainly though, that 50% reduced reflect damage taken is super important because it allows me to kind of push the, the damage a bit higher on my character without really hopefully having to worry about reflect. Um, but yeah, this is the Scion character that I've kind of created. Now in the beta, in this current beta, I'm not going to be able to go down here at all. And that's why instead we're going to be using Crim Sorrow, which just give us 50% conversion and we sacrifice gloves. But, you know, I don't really have to go all the way down here then, but I do want to go down here. So this may potentially be my next build in beta is Glacial Cascade. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, that's pretty much all the updates I've got for you guys as of right now. Um, you know, feel free to hit me up in the YouTube comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're excited for the little bossing guy that I've got coming up. Each video will probably be like five to ten minutes long. Nothing really too crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I may start doing a little, a little thing every other week, like one day of the weekend, probably a Saturday, where I may dedicate to like variety gaming if I'm not like going hard. Like if it's, you know, a downtime in Path of Exile, there's not a new league. I may dedicate it to like variety. And variety, basically what that would mean in my context is indie games through Steam and browser games. But that's something for separate. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to super crazy announce that. But like I said, that's pretty much about it. If you guys liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time.